Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to cover how I use Readwise, which is a highlighting service that you can use and plug into your Kindle app, and then how you can actually use Notion, which is considered like a database or a cloud system that allows you to then, you know, keep track of your quotes uh, in uh, using Readwise that can convert or get transported into your Notion. And then actually how once you've got those quotations in Notion, you can then work with the Notion AI and generate articles based off of your highlights. This is a streamlined approach in terms of helping you develop your ideas. Uh, let's say you're a content creator and you want to create more blog posts or just more scripts let's say on YouTube with more books or more resources and then you can uh, highlight from your from your notes and generate different scripts or different uh, blog posts based off of uh, using the AI in Notion. You obviously you know have to add your own kind of commentary and AI is just a, a step to help you with um, you know generating some of the, your blog posts or your scripts but it's definitely an uh, enhancement in terms of you know uh, past workflows. So, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can set up a Readwise account, then how you can use the highlights and then convert them into Notion or such apps as Obsidian. But in this video, I'm going to cover how you can use Notion and then how you can use Notion's AI to then generate different kinds of blog posts or just kind of summarize the highlights from your notes in a, in a given book or in a given resource. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to go through uh, how you can set up uh, your Kindle, your Readwise, and then also your Notion in order to integrate this workflow uh, into your system. So. Uh, I want to start here by showing you Kindle and here's you know some of my books that I've read and what you know the key is here is that basically when I'm reading these books uh, I'm highlighting them you know and then these highlights are then gonna get transferred to Readwise and so if I show you Readwise Readwise is a service a website and if you see here I can log in and so you sign up for an account. There is uh, a free account and there's also a paid account. And I'll just quickly show you, you know, the difference. So with Readwise Lite, uh, you can pay $5, roughly about $5. And it allows you to, you know, sync, uh, allows you to get an email. It allows you to you know, easily browse your library and then sync your highlights to, to all sources. Uh, with the Readwise Pro version, you can get also your ability to add tags and notes and your ability to export to Notion and Obsidian and, and more. And then you're also able to use their new reader app that is in beta and you know also access to certain beta features. And the key here though, in order to get this system going for yourself, if this is what you want, uh, you can, uh, you'd have to get the pro version. So that's the 7.99 version. Uh, I personally think it's uh, worth it. Uh, I'll quickly show you the Reader app. Um, it's, it's it's their own kind of, um, it's almost like an RSS service, but it allows you to also listen to your articles and allows you to add highlights as well so that it can also streamline into Notion, which I'll show you. But I'm not gonna touch too much on this, but it is actually a cool uh, app that I recently downloaded and I plan to start using it in my own system, in my own, uh, you know, reading. And the next thing to show you though is in Readwise. So once you've installed uh, Readwise, you're going to go to your dashboard and then your dashboard has these different sections, right? And the key thing here is the import. So this is how you first set up uh, your Kindle into your Readwise. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect your Kindle here and you're going to, you know, add your credentials. And then that way you're going to be able to sync your Kindle to your uh, Readwise. You can also add Instant Paper, Twitter, Apple Books, and as I mentioned, Readwise Reader. 
There's also other options. Uh, you can look them up yourself here, but it gives you lots of different varieties of ways to, you know, get your highlights uh, into uh, into Readwise. But for this video, I'm just going to highlight or emphasize the Kindle. So this this is what I do. So it's all my um, Kindle Paperwhite. I highlight, you know, different things, um, different uh, quotes in my chapters and in my books, and then that gets sent to my uh, Readwise service. And I guess the next thing to show you is the, so these are the import functions, right? But then there's the export functions. And so the next step is then to add Notion. And I guess quickly, I'm just going to show you my library in Readwise. So here, these are all my different ways in which uh, my highlights are coming in. The main thing to show you is the books. Again, there's many aspects to this software, but for this video, I'm just going to keep it very uh, specific to Kindle and Readwise. But as you can see here, uh, there's all these different options, or sorry, all these different books that I have that I've read, and it highlights all the highlights. And so if I was to click into one of these books, let's say here, the cortisol connection, and then it's going to show me all my different uh, quotes that I've highlighted and I can go in here. I can favorite them. I can add tags. You can also edit them I can share them. And another aspect, I guess, to show you too, is that Readwise allows you to integrate with your email. And also they have their own app on, uh, like on the iPhone, the iPad. That way you can generate your quotes over time. So let's say you wanted to have like a daily or a weekly email. You can have your quotes, um, you know, basically be sent to you to kind of give you a reminder of some of the books that you've read. So Notion, as I mentioned, is like a database cloud system. Uh, there's many, uh, a big community online. Uh, there's a lot of resources that you can look up in terms of understanding Notion. But again, I'm going to, for this video, I'm going to keep it very simple. So what you do is you're going to configure Notion and uh, what that does is then it allows you to uh, basically use your highlights from your Kindle, integrate them into Readwise, and then Readwise is going to then send and export those quotes to your Notion. And that's now what I'm going to show you. So in my Notion, these are all the books that I've showed you that are in my Kindle. And as you, let's say, click on one of them, it's going to show you all your quotes and it's going to give you, you know, a picture of the book. It's going to show you who the author is, the full title, your URL in your Amazon account, uh, your last highlight, your last sync date, and then also the category, whether it's a book or then also show you the number of highlights. And what you can also do is you can also add your own properties to each of your books as well. So that's um, another interesting feature as well. And what now uh, Notion has is what's called Notion AI. And Notion AI is, uh, I guess, you know, an AI service through Notion that allows you to do a host of different uh, automations and, you know, uh, artificial intelligent, uh, you know, um, I guess prompts and different um, uh, aspects of using AI to uh, work on your databases in Notion. But in this video, I'm just going to highlight how you can use the AI feature to generate uh, articles and generate scripts. So let's say that you want to create a video on a given book or a blog post on a given book. This will allow you to highlight, use your highlights. So and then to summarize those highlights into a, into a blog post or into a script. And I think what this is allows you a certain advantage over just, you know, using, let's say, chat GPT and trying to uh, generate uh, highlights from a book that way. This is a little bit of an extra feature, I think, because you're using your own highlights, right? And that way you're, uh, you know, sourcing from what you think is important in the book and then you're generating uh, a blog post using their AI. So how to do that? So let's say you scroll down to, to the, the, the back or the bottom of your quotes, and then you want to use AI. So you can press space and then you're going to say something like uh, summarize this uh, 
um, you know, these quotes into an article uh, and just put that, right? And what AI is gonna do is it's going to summarize the, um, you know, uh, article based off of your quotes. So that did a pretty good job of, you know, creating a summary. But let's say that, um, you know, I want to organize this. So I'll say like organize it into a few more points, let's say, with titles. So that's another way that I could organize my blog post, you know, making it into a bunch of, you know, different, um, different points and versus making it into paragraphs. But again, this is just to show you how you can use Kindle integrated into Readwise and then using Readwise integrated into Notion and then using Notion's AI to generate your own articles and scripts. I could go more involved into how to use the AI, but I think in this video, I just wanted to highlight, you know, how you can do this for yourself, how you can quickly create articles. I think, you know, AI is very powerful. I think that you want to think about also how you can add your own kind of personal touch, obviously, to your blog posts or to your scripts. Uh, but I think this allows you to get a head start on doing some research for your next video project or for your next script. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know how you're using this system if you are. And uh, give me some feedback about, uh, you know, what you think about this uh, service. Okay. Thanks and have a great day.